I think that's a very tough that's a very tough question because of course it sets a, a, a very difficult precedent um, I I think they probably feel they don't have a choice I'm, I, I can almost guarantee that theatre owners across the country are saying what are we what are we gonna do you know the film comes out at Christmas in in America which is a huge time for movies in America and uh, if there if there are threats to theaters at Christmas it's not only that people aren't going to the interview the film they're not going to the theaters period and uh, you know in America nothing gets people's attention more than if you're gonna hit them in the pocketbook what would Martin Luther King have done if he was running Sony Martin Luther King would never run a film studio uh, Martin Luther King um, for the same reasons that he wouldn't be a politician. Uh, he felt that he needed to be a voice for the voiceless. He felt that to be political in any way, to be in a, in a situation even whereby it was deemed that he was making financial gain would uh, denigrate his position. Um, he gave away the money that was given to him for the Nobel Prize to SCLC, the organization mm. he was the leader of, all because he realized he couldn't be afford to be discredited by aligning himself with anything that felt overtly political. Um, running a company, being a politician, they are all steeped in politics. So, you know, um, I think Dr. King, the the studio boss is an oxymoron. But you, um, so you talked about this being sort of a, a dream role, a, a gift. Mm. Yeah, a calling, really. Mm. Um, when I first read the script, that's what it felt like to me. And not necessarily to the film, but the man. Mm. Um, I share Dr. King's faith in terms of being a Christian. And um, when I read it, that was what stuck in my spirit. There was something about the man, something about the truth of what he did. He wasn't just a talker, even mm. though he's famous for his oratory. He was a doer. And that's something I hugely admire, generally, but especially from a spiritual point of view. Lots of people mm. talk about their faith, but this is a man who sacrificial love dictated mm. um, pretty much everything he did and that's ultimately the price he paid was his life for this movement and so having that calling to do this was what basically became the engine that that made me stick at it for the seven years it took to yeah, get the what, film made. 